Good day. Welcome. This is your daily med with Lady V. Today we look at the sudden end of rebels. Proverbs 29 verse 1. Some people refuse to bend when someone corrects them. Eventually they will break and there will be no one to repair the damage. As we see from the teachings of the wise man Solomon, he says that the person that has to be constantly corrected for his or her behavior is not learning what God wants such one to learn. Instead, such one is hardening his neck. Such one is becoming stubborn in his or her sins. The hardening of the neck is a determination to not look around to see what God is doing but to look straight ahead and continue in the wrong path where they are walking. The hardened neck is the beginning of the process of a hardened heart. So when a spiritual dividing line has been crossed, only God knows when, not even the individual. And at that time, there is no remedy or turning back. God continually call the Israelites a stiff naked people in the Old Testament because they did not learn. So all throughout the book of Exodus we can see where God says they are stiff naked. In the tribulation period God will put extreme pressure on the Jews to turn on them so that they will turn to Christ. This pressure will force them to look around and to see what God is saying and that God wants to bring them to Messiah. God wants to bring them to Christ. We look at a few examples of people who have been reproved of. As we see from the scriptures, Pharaoh in the book of Exodus. Bible tells us about Israel and also about King Ahab in 1 Kings 17 and verse 1. We might be familiar with the story of Pharaoh and the enslavement of the Israelites in Egypt. Pharaoh was told to let God's people go. At certain times he said he would and then the Bible says his heart was hardened. God had to send ten plagues upon the land, each worse as they come along. And finally he decided after ten plagues that he would let the people go. But still change his mind 
and we will see that from the story. The first plague God sent upon him was blood. Will all the water in Egypt turned into blood? The Bible says Pharaoh's heart become hard. Exodus 7 and verse 22. Then the Lord sent frogs upon the land. Pharaoh's hardened Pharaoh hardened his own heart. Exodus 8 verse 15. Then God sent gnats upon the land. Pharaoh's heart again was hard. Exodus 8 and verse 19. So God sent some flies. Pharaoh hardened his own heart. Exodus 8 and verse 32. Then his livestock died. Pharaoh's heart was hard. Exodus 9 and verse 7. Then boils came upon the land or upon the people. The Lord says Pharaoh's heart again was hardened. Exodus 9 and verse 12. It seems that the harder the plagues, the harder his heart became. Hail came and the Bible says Pharaoh hardened his own heart. Exodus 9 and verse 34. Locusts came upon the land, destroy all the crops. God announced that he has hardened Pharaoh's heart. Exodus 10 verse 1 and verse 20. Plague number 9, darkness came. Everywhere was dark. God hardened Pharaoh's heart. Exodus 10 verse 27. Finally, the tenth plague, the death of the firstborn. God hardened Pharaoh's heart. Exodus 11 and verse 10. But after Pharaoh lost his own son, Pharaoh says, I'm releasing the Israelites. But then he goes back on his word. He goes back on the decision to let the Israelites go. Exodus 14 and verse 5. We know how this story ends. The evil turn of Pharaoh's heart turn back on himself resulting in an empire wide catastrophe yes when a person continues in sin in spite of repeated warnings the bible say that suddenly there will be destruction and at the end there will be no hope for such person the opportunity that was given will be taken away the people who lived before the flood refused to listen to Noah the flood came and they were all destroyed today let us take heed to what God is saying to us if he is continually correcting us let us see to it that we take this correction and learn from what he is saying to us. Because he says if we 
constantly, continually harden our heart, there will be no remedy when destruction comes. God bless you. Thank you again for watching. And may God bless the United States of America.